education with a deeper purpose at the University of Portland. Back here on the campus at University of Portland. What a lovely night in Portland, Oregon. At least the soccer on the field was. Final score, Portland 4, LMU 0. And this was not an LMU team to scoff at. Coming in, they were 8-3-2. and two. They are now 8-4-2, and 2-1 two, two and one in conference, 4-2 and two on the road, while the Portland Pilots move to an impressive 9-1-3 and three on the season. 8-0-1, oh, 3-0 oh, in conference. Let's take a look at all the goals, Andrew. There was four fun ones and all a little bit different. The first coming via Cambridge. Well, and all different goal scorers, too. All of these goal scorers up their tally by one and kind of stay in line with each other. They're 7 6 5 4. Uh, did a great job in creating some opportunities for themselves. And, and here's a, a great one Cambridge gets the first goal and then comes in here and then just drags the ball wide, makes it so hard for LMU to keep up with them. And Sanga finds his space in behind number 21, Corbin Mercado. It runs straight to Cambridge with a lovely assist. Third goal, a little bit easier. We saw Umar win the penalty, gets a player on his backside, and it was a clearly a penalty, Ange. Yeah, he does so well. Again, so speedy, and he gets stretch, goes to the ground, stretch gets up and, and uh, grabs him, and, and it's Babalai then who gets the honors, puts it right to the goalkeeper's right. Again, doesn't hit it into the side netting, but hits it hard enough that Wilson just cannot do enough to keep it out so wilson goes the right way and just doesn't have the strong hand to push it wide cj tibbling got the final goal for portland he came in with five goals was awarded the start and then got his six of the season right here yeah and, and tibbling that was just a, a lark that was one that he just said okay well why not we got about 90 seconds left in the game that third goal that penalty really kind of sealed the deal lmu had been doing a good job chasing the game felt like probably if they got one that was going to invigorate them even more potentially go for the game winner but after the penalty they dropped off and tibbling there then has the the honors of uh sealing this game and 4-0 what would a you, great win would you say this was the most complete game we've seen portland play i think it's the most complete game against a tough opponent you know this lmu team's a good team they're extremely disciplined um in how they approach the game and so for portland to break them down in the variety of ways that they did that was a that was a great job by them to stay patient deal with kind of the low drop off uh press from from uh, the LMU front line and then solve some problems by getting in around wide and looking at those opportunities uh, from the wings. Portland have played 13 games this season, only four to go, Ange, and three of them coming on the road. Next is going to be Wednesday against Gonzaga. All these games remainder at 7 p.m. And we have at San Diego in conference as well. San Diego's going to want some revenge. Pereira, I remember, had a hat trick against them here at Merlo last year. Santa Clara, a game that you've highlighted. And then finally, versus Pacific, who has grown as a program leaps and bounds over the last couple of seasons. It's going to be a difficult final stretch for Portland. That Gonzaga game, certainly, it is difficult to play in Spokane. They have really built that program up. Got a great stadium under the lights. The students are a handful. Um, and yeah, then going down to San Diego, always a tough call. Santa Clara and Pacific. Pacific. It's it's going to be a tough stretch in Portland. 3-0 in the WCC, still unbeaten, but this is going to be where they've got to prove it. And Portland at the top, everyone's going to want to play their best game against the Pilots. Nobody's going to take it, be taking it easy against them. They realized how strong the Pilots have been under Nick Carlin Voigt, especially in the last two years. But that's going to do it for Merlot Field. Big thanks to Angela Harrison. Big thanks to our entire broadcasting crew upstairs. We did an incredible job getting us all the angles, all the stats, and everything we could ever want here at Merlot Field. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Adam Sussman. We'll talk to you again, Santa Clara.